They're currently just two games behind Oakland after trailing them by as many as five. A little more. And he delivers a base hit to center field. So the first batter of the game has the first hit of the game. Toro now is reaching 17 of his last. How few hits he's allowed overall. Swing and a foul tip. Caught by Yiner Diaz who claps in his glove as Rennell picks up his first strikeout. Rooker battling here with a 2-2 count and skies this one on the infield. John Singleton at first base has to avoid Abraham Toro and he does so. They kind of got caught up there as Toro wins on the year. Rennell has been a savior in this rotation. Another pop up. This one in a shallow right. Long run for Tucker and he can't get there. It's going to fall in for a little blue pit. Langelier has popped that one up, but he put it on a purpose. Guys that don't have confidence in that will just go ahead and pump heaters. Now he does throw a fastball behind, and he walks. Hot for Geloff just off the injured list. And he takes a call, third strike. He took a close 1-0-2, the 1-2. 2 ERA, 1.11 is that whip number. He's going to be tough to get to early on. His first time through the order. In Detroit. Chops that one on the ground towards Toro. His throw is in time to get Altuve for the first out. Hits this ball well to left field. Slicing towards the Crawford boxes. That ball is off the wall. Tucker into second base. And he will stay there with a double. Kyle Tucker hits one over the head of Brett Rooker for a one-out double. And he waves at the sweeper. That's been a bigger pitch for J.P. Sears this year than last year. The sweeper picks up. The ground ball towards short. Schumann's going to have to hurry with Pena running. And Pena just out at first base. A close play. Schumann gets him. It's in baseball with a 2-2-3 ERA starting the night. Third best. There's a called third strike. Kyle McCann, the D.H., never took the bat off his shoulder. And it's first. route for Tyler getting to the big leagues. How about Rennell? Six pitches, two strikeouts here in the second. As he trust me. I used 1% of it. It's crazy up there. Oh, he was a pitch away from the immaculate inning. Rennell almost got his name alongside others in Astros history. Like the video got me. <laughs> Why? This ball in the right. Tucker coming on. He'll have time to get there. Toro retired. We'll talk more about motion for Alex Bregman. Here goes Breggy again to deep left and gone. Not just Julia can call Breggy Bob. That's a solo shot. Three and two nights. The TK's now tied with Julia on home run calls for Breggy. How about Breggy's five plate appearances in this series? Three home runs, double and a walk. Somebody's getting high. I love that calm, cool confidence, too, because internally he is so excited knowing that that swing is where he wants it to be. By the way, three home runs with Bandana. About it. Yep. Bandana power it is. Yeah. That should be a marketing. giveaway. Yeah, that should be yeah. marketing. Got, oh, that's hit hard. Knocked down by Toro, but no chance for Schumann. Yiner will be on with a base hit as he pulls that ball off the glove of Abraham Toro Let's go back to that swing from Alex Bregman. He got off speed down. They wanted that down and away That was a two seamer that he got out there and reached around and pulled into that Crawford box But these line drives have some length to them So he's kind of backing that baseball up getting the barrel to it and kind of releasing through it But good but you know what you need to do Sometimes you got to go through the mess John Singleton on a 3-2 pitch to right field. Played there by Nevin on the warning track. So. That one's off the plate. And that'll be ball four. Langoliers held it there for a beat. As he lines one to right, coming on to make the play is Nevin. Yiner Diaz will get back to second. That ball was hit pretty well. And the pop foul. Langoliers gives it a look behind the plate, and he has room to put it away for the final out. How quick is he to home plate? Broken bat. Tucker coming in, and Kyle will slide and make a backhand play for out number one. JJ. 
Yeah, they've got two very good catchers as far as throwing is concerned. Langoliers is supposed to be one of the best. He's got a great pop time and an excellent arm as well. He's got a little bit better arm. Leagues and runs scored in Bay. Ball hit pretty well into center field. Back on it goes Meyer, still going back. He will play it off the wall. Langoliers, who leads the team with two triples, will hold up with a double here as that ball was well struck. That one skied, playable, right center. Jake Myers will call off Kyle Tucker, and that'll do it for the A's in the third. A two out. Those are orangish. Oh, okay. I thought they were pink. Popped up. Tucker will fire the bat away. He's not happy with himself as Abraham Toro makes the call and the catch for the first out. I'd like to have a redo on that. They asked me as Jordan goes down swinging. This will be our second of our Ask the Booth questions for the The whole game. It's a marathon. 1-2 pitch. Hit pretty well in the right center field. Back on it goes Nevin. Still going back. He'll get there and put it away. Payton gave it a pretty good ride the other way, but he is out. Kind of an interesting situation going on here as the inning is about to start. Renal Blanco is having his glove check. Laz Diaz, the crew chief, and the four umpires conferring right now. Yeah, this is the first time this season we've had a situation like this, and it feels like they're putting their hand inside Rennell's glove to feel it. Now, if you have enough sweat, they're going to eject him. Wow. They are going to eject terrible news. Rennell Blanco from this game for apparently something on the glove. If he's able to get through this inning efficiently is to give the Astros more than one. That's a good way to start with a line out on the third pitch of the inning. Swing and a miss. Down goes McCann for the second time today. Out number two. Got an extensive phone call with him. We'll talk more about Tyler as he lines out to Altuve. That's kind of how things are going for Tyler lately. Does he do it again? Yes. Why not? Another double for Bregman, number 243 of his Astros career. But now he's two ahead of the bull, Bob Watson. Now Yiner trying to put the ball in play here and maybe move Bregman. This one's headed to left. Not going to be able to move Bregman on a fly ball to left, although he'll tag. It's just a bluff for the first out. Don't necessarily depend on the result. Into center field, playable for J.J. Blade. Alex will tag again, but again, it's a bluff. As Singleton flies out for the second out. Jake got under it, pops it into shallow left, so shallow that the infielders converge in foul territory. Abraham Toro puts it away for the final out of the inning. Fun night for everybody. 2-2 two -two pitch is swung on and missed. Taylor Scott on his third night in four on the mound. Frommer or Blummer? Oh, man. I got ground ball, ground ball on the right side. I got thrown under the bus yesterday. Singleton flips three innings. If he can get six outs for Joe Espada. Yes, he does. The South African, Taylor Scott, getting it done. Two shutouts. Games on the road and have a sub-500 record at home. And they couldn't score at home. So these offensive numbers this year completely flipped. Where now they're getting all their runs. That ball's hit over the head of Toro, down the line and left. That adds to his numbers on an 0-2 count as Jose Altuve doubles here with one out. Tuck sends this one to center, playable. Altuve is going to think about tagging up, but he's just bluffing. That's the second out. Now a word from... Jordan pops in the shallow center. Coming on is Blade, and he makes the catch for the final out. Call third strike. Rooker says the ball's out, but that is a close pitch to take for an inning or two tonight. Look out. One two pitch clipped him. O'Shea Langoliers hit by that pitch after Montero got it. One more start. Minor leaks. Swing and a miss. Strikeout for. Montero. He struck out two in the city now, and there's two away. Call third strike, top of the zone, strikeout. Second time today, Geloff has gone down looking. 
Pena can't lay off that slider, so Adams throwing the slider. Ground ball towards short. Backhanded by Schumann. First time Alex Bregman's been retired in this series. And he strikes out Yiner Diaz with that slider, so another good inning for Adams. That's nine straight. He games hitting 409. Into right center, and that is going to be down for a hit on an 0-2 pitch. Kyle McCann gets on as a leadoff runner here in the seventh inning. Ground ball to short. Could be two. Pena to Altuve for one. And Altuve fires a strike for the double play. Big double. They're in. Julia knows. It's ball to left. Dubon back. Searching for the wall, but doesn't need to worry about it as he makes the catch in front of the wall. And coming back from down 2-0 on a couple of close pitches. Singleton goes down on strikes. Ersic picks up a strike. And another question tied along with that is Myers goes down on strikes. Ersig looking very good, striking out both batters he has faced. If it is a foreign substance that is found on that glove. Dubon sends one to right. They were playing him pretty deep, but Nevin comes on to make the backhand. Or his one inning work. This ball looped down the line and left. Tough play Dubon. He won't be able to get there. It'll bounce into the stands for a ground rule double. Abraham Toro on a 1-2 pitch, loops a double down the left. He does get a productive out as he grounds one to Singleton. Singleton bobbles, but gets it to Presley just in time covering. But the Astros do get the out. Blade will. And a line drive to center is going to tie the game at one. Brent Rooker, back-to-back -back nights with hits against Presley. And that small margin of error comes back to bite the Astros. This is now a 1-1 game. Ground ball slowly hit. Might be too slow to turn two. Altuve tries a quick turn. That was nicely done by Altuve on a quick turn. Base hit. Got him. Presley strikes out Soderstrom to end the inning. But the A's tie it on the RBI by Rooker. Last ball, but this guy with his 100-plus might. As he does at the bottom of the zone, 102 at the bottom of the zone for a call third strike. All right, Tucker draws his team leading 31st walk of the year. So he is dead. Got him, 102 up in the zone. Miller makes quick work of Jordan Alvarez for the second out of the inning. Sliders. Trying to pick up a strikeout with the slider and does. Painty couldn't hold up, so Miller continues his dominance, striking out three. Based on usage that we showed you earlier tonight, Hader gets Geloff swinging here, and that's a strikeout to start the night. He's a starter when he was let go by the Giants, and the A's picked him up. Foul tip caught by Yiner Diaz. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Josh Hader here in the night. J.D. Davis, second strike, we're not strikes. This one grounded towards Altuve. You gobble it up, gobble it up, and make the play for the final out of the ninth. Tough customer here as he gets a strikeout. Yeah, this is this guy has got some good stuff. Yiner punches one to right. Nevin coming on, and he'll get there to make the catch for out number two. First batter. Tough pitch. Gets the call at the top of the zone with a slider, and Mason ends up striking out. Situations didn't ask for Josh Hader to go out there multiple innings. Another walk of a nine hitter. We've seen that quite often this year. We're the only run for the A's in the eighth inning. He is swinging and drives one high and deep to left field. Jake Myers near the warning track, puts it away near the wall. Brown will tag, so is Schumann, and both runners will advance. So it's Eighth pitch coming. Got him. 97 for a swinging strikeout. Big punch out for Hader. Is one for four tonight. Knocked in their only run. Ground ball towards Altuve. He'll charge. Scoop. And we'll head to the bottom of the tenth with Josh Hader shutting the door. He is swinging and drives one. Deep to left center field. Back goes the left fielder. Caught. And that's going to advance the runner to third. That is the exact thing the Astros wanted was to move the runner 90 feet. He didn't get the butt down, but he got the job done. Up the middle. Walk off for the second time this 
year, Victor Caratini wins it again for the Astros, 2-1. to one. Just give me a splash. That's all I'm looking for. Victor Caratini, two for two in opportunities to walk it off in that Astros uniform. Caratini with a couple of caught stealings last night as a starting catcher. And tonight comes off the bench for one at bat, and it's the biggest one of the night for the Astros. An interesting game all the way around with Renel Blanco being ejected for a foreign substance. That bullpen happened to do some serious lifting to keep this game as close as it was to give the opportunity for the Astros to win. And I'm sure Joe Spot is going to stay after this game. Guess what, boys? Wins are wins, and today was a W. Yeah, you're so right, Blummer. When you blow out your bullpen like that, you yep. need to come away with a W. Yeah, there's, a, but that's winning baseball, too. You're going to win games like you saw yesterday where you're getting the great pitching. You're getting the clutch hitting. You're scoring runs late, and you're getting the home runs. But there's going to be a lot of nights in the big leagues where you've got to be able to fight and claw your way to get some wins. And the Astros were able to wait out Urseg and Miller, two big arms out of that A's bullpen to get this walk-off win. Another good point. Miller may or may not be available for the rest of the season.